We move on now to a GMA parenting alert. The author behind the New York Times bestseller Girls and Sex is out with a new book called Boys and Sex, all about navigating sexuality and masculinity in today's world and what parents can do to raise good men. Deborah Roberts sat down with the author and a few young men to talk about it. Hey, Deborah. Hey, George. I have to tell you, this is pretty eye-opening stuff. If you're the parent of a young man or you've got a young man in your life, don't go anywhere. You're going to want to hear this. In this world of Me Too and Time's Up, there's a lot of talk about girls and women and learning how to own their space. But what about boys? The author of a new book says, while we are, we think we're talking with them, we are neglecting them in the conversation, leaving them entrenched in old stereotypes about manhood. I brought you to the best party. Prepare to get best! In the film Booksmart, high school girls are mostly feeling empowered and guys mostly slackers out to score. It's a stereotype we've grown used to. All the popular culture, the way when you start looking at it, that it presents masculinity and manhood and sex for men is incredibly narrow. Author Peggy Orenstein has spent years talking with young people about their intimate lives. In her new book, Boys and Sex, she's now sounding an alarm about young men. It was like they were um, channeling 1955. You know, it was still about uh, sexual conquest. It was about dominance. It was about aggression, athleticism, and particularly about emotional suppression. You feel need to be tough? Yeah, I mean, just so that, like, you know, you can show people that, like, you're not, I guess, someone to mess with. We gathered together a few guys, ages 17 to 22, who admit yeah. they're getting mixed signals about how to be a man. If you're not successful, if you don't have money, if you don't, you won't be able to get, like, um, a, the pretty girl or something like that. And even though we want to get away from it, it's just something that it's been entrenched in our society for so long. In fact, Ornstein says it's the bro culture that leads many boys to go along even when they feel other guys are being inappropriate. There is a lot of pressure on guys to be silent. And one guy said to me he did try to step up and he got mocked by other guys. And I've been in situations like that, but say I'm in a locker room with my teammates, it's like a bond there. Hey, hey, ho, ho! And with all the talk about how to treat women in this world of Me Too, many boys say the discussions in their world are short on details. Be respectful to women. Is that really giving you any information about how to be a young man and what to do? No, it doesn't. And there's a lot that you actually have to learn about in terms of being respectful. You know, you're respectful for like what they do or how they feel. One major issue plaguing boys, Orenstein says, is the lack of discussion regarding sex. Parents are squeamish and rarely talk about caring and intimate relationships. Well, what about boys and intimacy? Do they want intimacy? They do want to connect, and they are as emotionally invested in their relationships. We have to talk to our boys. They wanted to hear more from their fathers about their own experience, about even their regret. In a way, like, try to be their friend. Don't chastise them. Rather, instead, relate with them. Because you yourself were probably in that same position when you were their age. These young men tell us that they think that the world is changing, but George, really not so much. The number of sexual assaults against women on college campuses hasn't changed at all in the last four years. So privately, there is still this world out there that is not budging. And we need lot. a lot more conversations like the one you had. That's exactly right. Talk to your boys in the car, then they can't escape. But really talk about those uncomfortable things that you know that, you know that they're exposed to. Makes a lot of sense. Deborah, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.